Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. This video essentially I'll be showing you how to expose your API gateway using CloudFront distribution and then applying a very simple geo-based restriction which means block the request if it's coming from China or you know Russia. Just an example okay I'm just uh, so if you want to block essentially the request from a particular country you could do that. I'm about to show you in this video. Let's get started. So if I if you come to my um, you know uh, management console, uh, by the way, you can take a look at the ClickUp. The links are in the uh, description. So this essentially shows you what all videos are planned, what all videos I'm working on, right? So this will show you about everything, right? Uh, but uh, coming to the demo, right? I have a very simple API gateway. When I go to the route, all it does is says hello world. But now I would like to apply some, you know, I would I want to expose this through a cloud front. So click on this orange button, type uh, dump in the domain name, remove the slash. So that's my domain, right? I would select HTTPS and then I'll go all the way down and click on create distribution. Once the distribution is created, I'll head over to the geographic restriction. Then I have, for an example, I have uh, an IP address. Uh, this is the IP address of child. Uh, that's a country. So I'll show you quickly. Uh, so. so this is the IP address, right? A Google search. So if you come to this one, um, as you can see, the country is child. I want to block if any requests come from this country for ex an ex as an example. Uh, so once you have your cloud from distribution, then head over to geographic restriction and click on edit and then click on block um, uh, IP address. And then in the countries, you can type the word child and then you can uh, add this and click save changes. Now at this point, if you go to distribution, uh, as you can see, uh, this is a distribution that's being deployed, right? But you could essentially in theory at this point, come here, copy this domain and use the word dev. And uh, I guess it's still uh, deploying. I have to be a little patient. I'm a little hasty, so I gotta be patient. All right, so I'm gonna wait. And as you can see here, it's deploying as you can see on my screen, right? So once that is deployed, what this allows us to do is uh, it allows us to hit the API essentially uh, with this domain name, right? So hopefully now does it work? Nope, still it's uh, not allowing me to do that. So at this point, I just gotta be patient and wait and unless, unless and until this is uh, set to deployed, which is right now deploying, so I gotta be patient. But um, yeah, you could uh, configure error pages and there are a lot more things that you could do. But for now, we're just um, interested in the geographic restriction, right? So I've added the country and hopefully in a second or two, uh, it, should, it, should, it, should be, it should be done. The distribution should be ready. Uh, and if you observe, um, uh, this is pointing to the API gateway, uh, API gateway uh, domain. So if I directly go to the API gateway, uh, you should see that right but now once the CloudFront distribution is complete i should be able to hit that using this domain uh, this domain name here right here okay so i'm just gonna wait and i'm gonna be patient because i know it might take about five to ten minutes and oh it seems like it's done so yeah i have this lambda i'm hit hitting this from the us server and i've added a block ip address so now i have a very simple code uh, i'm using a request library and i'm using an ip address from child so this IP address I found from SSL proxies, right? So here they have, um, you know, uh, SSL proxy. So if you come here, there's a bunch of free IP address that you can use. So you can come here and if you want, you can search for the word child and then use the IP address. But I, I've taken one, okay? So now uh, I'll set this to true. So now while making request to my uh, server, that is essentially this one right here, I'll change the domain name here. So now I should get a status call as blocked, okay? So now I'll show you. This will block the request uh, because the request comes from that country, remember? So, oops, seems like, uh, seems like that IP address uh, has been, so that's the problem with this free one. You know, you I always have to uh, come here and you know search for the right IP address. So uh, let me come here again and copy this one. So this is the one that I'm about to use again. So the port here is 443, so we'll use. Okay, so we'll copy this one and then copy here. Okay, so uh, do keep in mind, so uh, if I hit it normally, it works fine, but now uh, I have added that geo-based restriction, right? So now if I try to hit with this IP address, 
uh, in theory, I should see an HTML uh, and it would say like denied or whatever, you know, your, your location is not allowed or something like that. So I'll show you that hopefully uh, if that I, IP address is still working. Uh, these are all free IPs, so they keep changing all the time. So, but let's see. It's taking a while to make that request uh, because it's going through a proxy now, remember. Uh, yeah, does not, doesn't like that establishing connection attempt. Yeah, these IP address, uh, these IPs are essentially, uh, let's try again, see if this works. Okay, uh, as you can see now, right, uh, I, I got a response back from the server and now as you can see here, uh, it says denied. So I'll show you in a second if I can open up my index.html and I'm dumping this. Uh, as you can see, I got some HTML, right? So now if I go to the web page, uh, here you go. The request response cannot be uh, satisfied. The Amazon CloudFront distribution is configured to block access from your country. We cannot connect to the server or for the app or the website at this time. So pretty beautiful, right? I hope you've enjoyed this simple t tutorial on how to expose your API gateway using CloudFront and add geo restriction, okay? So yeah, you can add multiple countries as you want, right? Geo geographic restriction, right? You can allow countries, you can deny countries. Uh, so you can do all, all, all that here, right? We'll explore more and more using WAF in the next tutorials, right? So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the upcoming uh, next tutorial.